Welcome back to the weekend with Anthony Opperman. Super Bowl Sunday right around the corner as we get closer to the big game between the Giants and the Patriots. And obviously, a lot of interest and intrigue going in from the football side. But for everybody in Indianapolis, the Super Bowl is a big money maker. This is big business as well. It's certainly been well documented, all of the ad revenue that's generated from commercials that are run during the Super Bowl. But for the city that gets to host the big game, certainly can pay big dividends, as was evidenced last year in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. According to the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, sales tax revenues. We're just talking the tax generated on all of the sales throughout the Super Bowl, up 4% overall for the month of February in North Texas. Indianapolis certainly hoping for the same kind of boon this year by hosting the Super Bowl. And to kind of get a little bit more insight on that, I want to welcome in somebody who's certainly hoping that that's going to be the case this year in Indy from Scotty's Brew House. Welcome in, Scotty Wise, to the weekend. Scotty, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, can't tell you enough. You can't have a Super Bowl or you can't watch football without beer and wings and hamburgers, can you? So I, it's just a good pairing, right? Absolutely. Well, <laughs> how are things going in Indy? I, I'm assuming things are going pretty well. I noticed that you guys got a nice little shout-out on Jimmy Fallon's show. It was cool. It was really. It gave me the chills to watch. Uh, not just for her to say, you know, mention our name, but then for the roots to, you know, come up with a song with our name in it, and then to hear kind of the crowd cheer around them and just support us. It's a, it's a cool feeling. You know, I'm just a good old boy from a little town that worked hard. I got a great team around me, and 16 years later, uh, you know, we went from me being the bartender and the waiter and the cook to now we've got a thousand employees. Uh, eight restaurants will do over about $24 million in sales this year company-wide. So it's been a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, long nights in the beginning, but I'm, you know, I'm extremely pleased. And I can't tell you, man, that's such a cool thing going on in our city right now. To, obviously, everyone knows that the Super Bowl is exciting, but gosh, if you would look back, and if I would tell you a year ago that it was going to be nine degrees in Dallas, for their Super Bowl, and it was going to be 60 degrees in Indianapolis <laughs> for ours. You know, it was, I think a lot of people would laugh at me and call me a fool. So the weather here is just, I'm looking out my window right now, and it's blue skies, it's sunny, it's, it's like a fall day outside. It is, it's such an incredible thing to see happening in our city. And, I, and I'll tell you that what this city, you know, I, I said it before to a lot of people, that what, what we lacked in beaches and oceans and 70-degree weather we really make up for it as a city in charm and the location of the Super Bowl. It's hard to kind of, I think, tell you in person, but everything is within eight blocks of each other. You know, all these other Super Bowls, they're calling this the most urban Super Bowl that's been around. And all of the other Super Bowls, you know, you had to, in Miami, you had to drive 40 minutes to get to the, to the football stadium or the same in Dallas. Uh, ours is six blocks from my restaurant. It's four blocks from the convention center. I'm one block from where the Pacers play Saturday night. You know, it, there's just a, it's a, you don't have to leave your car. Everything is, is happening right inside our city. And, and I think it's not just the charm, but we're a city that really, you know, you hear the term Hoosier hospitality and it can be kind of cliche, but I think it, it really applies to our city. I think as a Midwesterner, we're, we're really proud of taking care of other people. And people ask, you know, what's Hoosier hospitality? And I tell them it's, it's basically, we love giving back. We love making other people smile and, and leaving here. And I, and I think that a lot of people have this expectation of, you know, you talk to somebody and they say, what, what do you expect about Indiana? Well, you think of cornfields, you think of a two and a half mile track with, with racing cars going around it. And you might remember Reggie Miller giving Spike Lee a choke sign. You know, there, <laughs> there are a few things that you, you know with the city. And I think people are going to leave here with this, you know, just exceeded expectations of, holy cow, they really, know how to throw a party and, and our, i can't say the things well enough about our our convention or convention convention and visitors association because they really they've been planning the thing you, you i mean i don't have to tell you that it's been three years in the making it just doesn't happen overnight and the infrastructure that has to be put in place and the police Absolutely. and every yeah it's just been a, it's been a great thing to be a part of well, I know that that's one thing I think that's kind of played out in some of the national media and the people that have been in Indianapolis remarking about the fact that everything is so close by and, and everything is within walking distance, the proximity, the convenience. I mean, that's quite honestly what a lot of guys uh, definitely look at. I know there was a lot of people that went from Richmond 
Uh, during VCU's run of the Final Four, they went to San Antonio and then to Houston. They love San Antonio because everything was in such close proximity. There's so much to do in such a short area. Houston was a little bit more difficult to navigate and get around. So I definitely hear your point there. In terms of some of the events, though, t- tell me about that. I mean, obviously there's been concerts every week in, in downtown Indy. What are some of the extra special events that you guys have been hosting? Because it seems like there's been a lot of extra activity at the restaurant, too. Yeah, we took, you know, we've been planning this thing since July, uh, meeting for, uh, you know, about an hour a week. Obviously, it's up that since since towards the end, but um, we just had to put a lot of things on reserve. There were, there was a, our, our patio is, is a huge patio. It's a 5,000 square foot patio in the middle of downtown Indianapolis. We have the, the largest outdoor patio. Well, obviously, you can't bank on this weather. And even with this weather, I don't think people would want to sit outside without some heat. So we had to get a, a tent to put over top of it. We wanted something structurally sound because with the weather here, it, you could have 50 mile an hour winds or snow or rain. We didn't know what to expect. So we had to reserve a pretty expensive tent early on. Uh, we, we, Indianapolis um, has some funny liquor laws, like a lot of states and, Typically, they didn't allow you to serve alcohol on the patio. You, you couldn't have a bar on the patio, so we had to put some license. We had to apply for certain licenses, and we have a bar on the patio. Um, we had to put bands in place for this thing. We got a hold of uh, Peter King from Sports Illustrated, who did a tweet up this past Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. His third one he's done, and it, it was it was awesome. He does a great job, and we filled the tent with that. We've had certain radio stations come in and do live broadcasts. We've got. Uh, Nick and Artie, the Nick and Artie show that's on uh, nationally syndicated XM 165. They are broadcasting every night from 10 to 1, so we have them kind of set up in an area that people come in and listen to them, you know, at, at night. Um, opening early every morning for, for things. We had the Today Show that would came in and taped a segment last night that will be airing on Saturday morning. So it's just been it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's you know, everything that we plan for, you, you try to kind of put the best laid plans in place and even then, things pop up. You, you, parking was an issue with having this most "quote unquote" urban Super Bowl. Uh, you come to the issue of you know there's some traffic and there's where you, where your employee is going to park, and so there were some things that we had to do early in to even find parking for our employees. So we had to pay ten thousand dollars to secure seventy parking spots for ten days. Wow. So. Yeah, there's some there were some crazy behind the scenes expense scenes expenses. You know, having enough ice and enough cups and enough employees, and we've got a thousand employee shifts for the uh, week of the Super Bowl. So it's just a it's a pretty grandiose uh, adventure. But you know, w- w- what's great about this city is that we've hosted uh, you as you mentioned. We had the Final Four here just last year, and by having an event like that, or you know, the Big Ten tournament is always it, has been in Indy the last couple of years. Um, it's kind of allowed us to prepare a little bit. It's allowed us to see uh, what we were the host bar for the, for West Virginia when they were in the final four. And it was for us, it was a great way to see how do we handle these crowds? How do we go from, you know, you basically are going from zero to a hundred miles an hour in a Ferrari when these crowds come into town. And it's that's that same thing is happening today with a four day hotel minimum stay. You got 150,000 people descending upon the city as we speak. So, it's Scotty Wise from Scotty's Brew House in downtown Indianapolis. And, you know, Scotty, I was reading online in the Indianapolis Star some of the additional preparations that you made and all the additional ordering. And, I mean, we're talking even extra silverware and stuff too, right? That's crazy. Uh, we, we have here, – here are some statistics for you. We're, we sell these fried dill, chick, dill pickles. Mm-hmm. Uh, we call them dill chips that we make ourselves. We will sell – at just this one location, 500,000 dill pick, pickle slices – over this weekend, we're going to sell 200,000 chicken wings. We will sell 5,000 hamburgers. We're going to sell 1.5 million ounces of draft beer, enough to fill basically a small swimming pool. <laughs> uh, 30,000 cans of beer, enough to be the height of the Empire State Building, eight and a half times over. So, and you know, I, I've got a crack staff of researchers that have, have put all this together for me, so I just get to be the smiling face that gets to spit all sure. the things out at you. <laughs> but it, uh, it's just a lot of proper, you know, all these guys and, and women that work for me have done a great job kind of preparing it. And the, the city, I can't say enough about just, the, you know, you probably have heard about the zip line that we have going through downtown Indianapolis. Jimmy Fallon wrote on it the other day. He'll yep. be on his show. 
it's just such a neat thing to see all those things. I know, like, you know, the Bud Light Hotel is right down the street from us, and Snoop Dogg and Little John and all these guys are going to be playing this tonight. They've had all these different free concerts down the street, Big Head Todd and and uh, Fuel was the other night. Um, but it's just so, you know, there's there's actually so many parties going on that you, you hear of one last minute, and you're like, man, I wish I would have known about that. Uh, we've got this outdoor uh, minor league baseball stadium, Victory Field here, and DirecTV and Dan Patrick basically converted it into a giant closed-in tent celebrity beach party. So there's sand everywhere within the outfield where they're going to have a celebrity beach tournament, and then Dan Patrick is is uh, doing a show there live all week, and then Katy Perry and the Fray are playing uh, that on Saturday. So I, there's just so many things going on that you, it's it's really even hard to keep track of everything. It's Scotty Wise from Scotty's Brewhouse in downtown Indianapolis. Scotty, bring up all these celebrities out and about. Have you spotted anybody this far? I, you know what? I got to see Dan Patrick came by the restaurant um, and had dinner, so I got to meet him and the Danettes and uh, Jenna Wolf from uh, the Today Show. I got to talk to her and Peter King, of course. Um, I, my, my time is split all over the place. I can I, imagine. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take a breath. I told uh, someone the other day that I, I don't want all this stuff to pass me. And the next week, I, I do need some rest because I'm tired. But I don't want to sit next week and say, "Man, what just happened?" What you know? I, I'm glad we made a lot of money, but I wish I could have remembered a little bit more. So I'm trying to kind of take a breath. And I was lucky enough to get some tickets to the game. Uh, from Pepsi, and I'm taking my parents and my COO, and I've got some friends coming into town. Uh, we're getting to go see Garth Brooks and Dwight Franey at an event tomorrow night. Um, so there's some things that I'm trying to kind of take a breath and see. But right now, I saw Jay Moore walking down the street. Um, Tim Tebow was was around yesterday, walking around, uh, getting ready to go into the Jimmy Fallon show. So. Uh, of course, the news does something every morning and shows the Kardashians coming into town and Ryan Gosling <laughs> coming into town. So it's pretty neat to see all these different people and and you know people are passing by and you're like and you walk by and you're like holy cow that was Leonardo DiCaprio that just walked by and I didn't even know it was him. Again, Scotty Wise from Scotty's Brewhouse in downtown Indianapolis. Scotty, before I let you go, how has business been to this point? Has it met your expectations? It has. It's been incredible. It's it, knock on wood. I need to find some wood because it is. It's almost too smooth. I, you know, I, I, I guess they say that, uh, you know, you're you're failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And I and I'd like to think that we did a great job preparing for what what we're in the midst of. So, it's been incredible. You know, to to have all these crowds come in and kind of you you expect to have a hiccup here or there, and knock on wood, we haven't had one. It, our sales are almost six times the amount of a normal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday so far. And we really believe that uh, the real the real crowds and the real party starts today because of that four-day hotel stay minimum. So we really expect today on to do uh, numbers that are even beyond our wild ex- wildest expectations. We called uh, Detroit because we wanted another cold-weather city, and we called some restaurants that were similar to our concept and we just wanted to get a feel for what to expect. And, and, and I sticks out in my mind. This one restaurant said, "Take whatever you think you're going to do, and in your wildest imagination, multiply it times a hundred, and that's what you got to prepare for because it'll be something that you've never seen before." And and so we're trying to take it step by step. I had the Jimmy Fallon show uh, called us and wanted catering. Of course, at probably the, the worst possible time, uh, right. six o'clock on Sunday during the game. Um, <laughs> But I can't. How do I say no to bringing catering for 200 people to the Jimmy Fallon show? So, again, it's just we take it step by step, baby steps. And and I've given my all of my managers and my company on Monday, February 6th, is a uh, Scotty's Brewhouse vacation holiday that I'm letting everybody take the day off and get some rest. That's awesome, Scotty. Hey, I got a couple people that I work with from Indiana, a couple of guys from Muncie. They said Scotty's is uh, certainly well known, and uh, they definitely. Love going to your place as well. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're a busy guy. Hey, thanks for having me. Again, that's Scotty Wise from Scotty's Brew House in Indianapolis getting the economic scoop of the Super Bowl. Stay tuned. We've got more Super Bowl conversation when we come back here on The Weekend. The Weekend with Anthony Opperman continues next on Sports Radio 910.